Welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back, a show that features your business, your services, your products. On Ranger Rob Has Your Back, you are the star. Let Ranger Rob be your advocate. Let's get started. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back, where you are the star. Today we're interviewing someone very interesting. His name is Gene, and he is the owner of Hamilton Radio, and which is my, you might say my brother or sister, on the East Coast. So um, uh, Hamilton Radio is an internet radio station just like mine. Of course, we're on the West Coast. Uh, what I really want you to pick up on is if you're going to, if you have a podcast or you ever wanted to do a show, or you want to hear alternative kind of shows and news and things like that, just like what we have, um, Hamilton Radio is another great choice for that. Uh, I like his philosophy. I like the teamwork. Him and I do not compete against each other, even though we do the same things. He's not a threat to me, nor is I a, th a threat to him. We're team players. And I, I, I hope that you can see the love between him and I as far as our, our, our stations and the passion for what we do. And so please sit back, relax, and get a chance to meet Gene from Hamilton Radio. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and Ranger Rob has your back. And today I'm interviewing a good friend of mine, Gene. And I'm gonna say his name, but that's not what you see on the screen, it's DePiro. De DePiro, did I say it right, Gene? Okay, yep, so sure. we're going to leave the spelling we have up there because there's a little complication on Facebook and Facebook recognizes the name you see on the screen. So if you're looking up Gene, use the name that's on, on the screen here. But Gene is the owner of Hamilton Radio and welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Yeah, and what's really cool is him and I are actually got a lot in common. Of course, I have Cutting Edge Radio Network, which is under uh, also has Good Talk Radio and a whole bunch of other shows. And Gene has been in this much longer than I have, and he is the owner of HamiltonRadio.net. And how long have you been running that station? Probably about twenty-three years now. Twenty-three years. So you had you must have been doing <laughs> something prior to internet radio. Well, I was a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, I was a DJ. I was also a DJ on uh, FM radio stations here locally. Gotcha. Um, I've always been in the entertainment business. I did a uh, local cable company. I did some videos. I did some uh, mastering on the switchboard. I did some camera work. Um, did some talk uh, for uh, talking to celebrities. I interviewed Marion Campbell from the Eagles. I had a lot of... Um, a great history into this and that's why i still pursue it because i there's nothing else i i love more than entertaining people you know and giving them what they want and more of what they want yeah uh, you know one thing i get a kick out of is if you if people take the time if you go in the description i have the links to hamiltonradio.net and i have the link to your facebook page and if you guys want to have some fun and and, and have a a friendly um, Facebook channel to follow. Jeans is fun because he gets on there. <laughs> I'm teasing you a little bit, Gene. He gets on there and he talks life just out of the blue. He'll just start doing a live feed and just like talk about dogs. And the next day we'll talk about homes. And the next day you'll be talking about children and then some, or maybe some law that's going on in, in your state. And uh, I just get a kick out because every time he goes live, you never know what he's going to talk about. And you're very passionate. And, and that's really cool. Um, you truly believe whatever you're talking about is from the heart. And, and uh, you can feel that. And so I highly recommend, folks, if you want to have a fun channel or fun Facebook page to follow, follow Jeans because it'll feel like you're part of his family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. Well, you know, it's just... It's basically uh, opinions, but I try to stay positive all the time, and I try to have positive affirmations come out of every day, uh, no matter what happens in the day, uh, you know, whether your car tire breaks or, I mean, we all have them problems, you know that, <laughs> but we try to stay positive because 
being negative is just going to create more of the negativity around us and and then you have more of it so just try to stay happy and positive all day and smile and you know be professional and act professional around your you know and maybe just treat everybody the, the way you think they would want to be treated yeah you know I, I that's that's important in radio especially in and in any type of business like we're in because I find a lot of times when people come into the studios, our radio studio, that a lot of them have been treated so badly, they're really afraid. They, they're free, afraid to let their guard down. And they're like, oh, you're not, no, I'm not going to not gonna tear you apart in front of people. I'm only going to let you say what you want to say. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to try to bring you down in any way. Yeah, and I, I, I get the same thing. It's like, People get it. Uh, they f they fill up tight when they first meet with us, and then uh, then they realize, no, we're not part of the politics. No, we're not part of uh, uh, rivalry or anything. We are just us, <laughs> and we just do us. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, you know, and and even you know, even in our studios here, we try to uh, portray that you know with every host, every show. And and of course it comes across you know, it comes across on the radio it comes across on the I say it's TV but you know Facebook is the new TV it really is more people watch Facebook and YouTube than they watch regular TV I I can't tell you I watch TV that much I yeah, really don't me either yeah I would say why so one other thing I want to tell kind of the differences between your network and mine is one is you've been around a lot longer but um. Uh, some studios, very rare, actually, you're the only one I see really kind of doing it. Well, there's others, but um, a lot of us set up radio shows for people to do that they can do by Skype and things like that. You took it a step farther and created your own studio. And, a, and the cool thing about that, and let me explain a little bit, is uh, you're in um, Rhode Island, right? New Jersey. New Jersey, sorry. And so he set up a studio which can handle up to how many people? Um, up to eight per studio. Okay. Uh, usually we can go a little bit more if there's a band, you know. Gotcha. So what's really cool about that, let's say you uh, uh, are in the local area and you want to do a show and you want to have a weekly show, but you don't want to buy the cameras and you don't want to buy eight microphones and you don't want to buy the tables and you don't want to deal with the lighting and the sound and the streaming. You go to, you go to Hamilton radio. That's what you do. And so you, once I, I'm in, in interrupt me anytime I get this wrong, but so you, you approach Gene and you say, Gene, I have an idea for a show. I'm not, I want to do a show about making dolls. And I, I have something to talk about every week, and I want to call it the dollhouse. And you'll say, and, and Gene usually just says, "Okay, cool. Well, you know, what's your plan?" And then you set up studio time for whatever set fee they come up with, and it's very reasonable. I've heard his numbers, and believe me, you can't even come close <laughs> to doing a show like this out of your own pocket, as opposed to doing it through like Gene's studio. So basically. If I got the concept right, I, and I've met, I've talked and met many of your people have done shows with you and do shows with you, and mm -hmm. they're very happy and very content and very uh, uh, thrilled to be working with Hamilton Radio. So, did I get the concept right? Yeah, the concept is is one hundred percent true. the the other The other thing about it is, if they're really serious and they really want to do something like that, we're all behind them. But we do get the people that play with us. You know, they're, they're not sure they won't promote their show. They're not sure they won't promote us. They're not sure what they want to do. They're confused and they use us. And, you know, when I say use us, I mean, they're using us as a catapult for something bigger. Yeah. But the problem is they don't realize by doing that they're hurting themselves Agreed. because they could be so much better than that. And I've seen it happen with a lot of shows, Rob. A lot of shows. <laughs> we get the them. same thing. We get people that they, them. they start out with us, they get all gung ho, and then they get grasses greener on the other side, or they get stardom in their eyes or something, and then they go off on their own and they fade away. <laughs> every time, almost every yeah. time. And I wish them well. I don't wish anybody, oh, yeah. you know, any, any bad things. But you know, the the thing is. Um, we're on a precipice, as I always say, we're on a precipice of where 
we are today in entertainment because we didn't have this years ago in the 60s. We didn't even have internet. We didn't have cell phones that would work. I mean, I, I saw this stuff in Star Trek, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I mean, when, when we're actually living this and we're, we're meeting celebrities, we're, we're friending celebrities, we're talking to celebrities. I had a guy the other night call me and he says, he says, oh, I'm a, I'm a fan of yours. And I'm like, well, who are you? He's all, I'm from the Buckinghams. I'm, I'm from the band from the 60s. I'm like, oh, and you're a fan of mine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a nobody, you know? And he's like, oh, no. He says, I've got a lot of friends, and they say, you know, you've helped their careers, and you've done this, and you've done that. He says, he said, boy, if we had you in the 60s, we wouldn't have had to worry about dealing with certain record companies. We wouldn't have to worry about dealing with certain promotional companies. We wouldn't have to worry about people uh, taking all our money. And I'm like, oh, that's the same story I heard from Al Contrera from the from the Mystics. Yeah, you know that Touch a Buy back in the '50s. So, I mean, we meet these people like they're just ordinary people, and they are ordinary people. But they're so much more. They're 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 not. Unfortunately, you can't hear their personality when they sing. You can only hear their music or what they write or yeah. the, the songs, how they write them and everything. But you don't see their personality. When you meet them up close or, or you meet them on the phone and they call you and they talk to you, it's like, oh, my God, this this person is really a really, really good person. And um, sometimes you meet people right away, uh, you know, uh, Rob, and you, you hit it off and you're like, oh, this, this, this guy is awesome, cool, but... You know, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's going to call you. You never know who's going to text you. And, of course, you, you always play that game, you're who? <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. I, just remember, I remember even when you and I met for the first time, somebody says, oh, you probably need to go. You need to talk to Gene. I go, Gene who? <laughs> you know? And so, finally, somehow we finally connected. I think you actually uh, was the first one to connect to me. And we started talking. And it's like, whoa, we get along really good. <laughs> And we've been friends ever since. And we totally do the same thing. We both have radio networks. Um, I'm on the West Coast. He's on the East Coast. And it's so cool because um, we can bounce stuff off of each other. We've been able to share things together. You've uh, Actually, you're carrying one of my shows, RV Talk Radio. Oh, I uh, really yep, appreciate that. And I think I've got some of, I've had some of your people with us before. And uh, I was uh, somebody that faded away. But um you know, yeah, we're always kind of throwing ideas back and forth. And you, by the way, gave me a great idea for a show the other day because you lost your dog the other day, and it was really sad. And yeah, uh, you're once again you're doing live feeds and talking about your you, you put your heart into it. And of course, I, I do a show called Easy Street. I actually did a show dedicated to your subject. And so I love your love live feeds because they give me ideas for radio shows. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you, it's not a waste of day if you can take something for somebody else and use it for your advantage, you know, oh. as, well, as long as you're not hurting anything or hurting oh, no, anybody. Not at all. In fact, I mean, we're talking about the passionate and feelings that you're going through with a loss of a pet, which sure. we, we all do. So it's like, that's a great show to talk about. And uh, and it has actually, that was a very popular show. <laughs> and the you know, that's another thing, Rob, too, about that, losing my dog, Frankie, uh, 10 years. It was a rescue dog. We rescued him out of Georgia uh, when he was about 18 months old. Um, one of my friends, uh, Dr. Sam Muggsy, that's on the, um, the KCOR radio network. And actually, I asked her several times to come to Helm the Radio, but she wanted way too much money. And I couldn't afford that. But she's still my friend, and we've been friends for years. Um, she's actually guided me towards this destiny of what I'm doing. And she um, took care of that dog for me, got it all set up, brought it up here to New Jersey. And, um, you know, and even though it wasn't the kind of dog I really wanted, you know, I fell in love with him. I really, I loved, I loved the need that he needed for people. I loved it, that he was very, very, uh, it, it was, he would work with cats because he had two cats at the time. We still have two cats, but the other two cats passed away. Um, so we had a whole different, uh, home, home to deal with and the interaction between me and the dog, um, was just inseparable. And even I tell my girls today that, you know, I, I just don't feel like I can get another dog I, I, days like that, but that there's other dogs. And I say, I understand that, but I just don't feel I can give him the love that I was giving him now, maybe doing time that'll change. But right now, 
I say it's not a good idea. And, um, I, and I like the fact to go out and come back home and, and not have to worry about, you know, the dog has to go to the bathroom or, you know, I'm out an extra hour of talking to somebody and I'm at an event or something like that. And I, I you know, I got a chance to meet somebody and I can't meet them because I'm worried about the dog. And I always <laughs> thought that in the back of my mind, you know, I always thought that, Oh, I got to get home. I got to take care of the dog. I take care of the dog. I take care of the dog. And now that that's gone, it's not that I don't, I don't, it's not that I don't want that again. It, I, I probably do at some point, but right now I'm just enjoying the time, you know, and, and focusing on, on what he was about, what the dog was about, what he, what is, what his spirit was about, you know, yeah. in his life, you know, and he, he had a, he had a better life than he would have had and just stuck in a cage. I gotta, you know, I gotta look at that. He had a lot of love from me, my wife and my kids. And of course, you know, the food and trying <laughs> to take him for a walk all the time. So yeah, we, we enjoyed the dog. Oh yeah, so I I, I got to make sure I stay on, uh, on your radio thing. I wanted to uh, point out to you guys is is so many things have changed throughout the years on radio stations, and you and I have a lot of the same beliefs, and so uh, we try to apply them to our radio stations. What are some of the things um, that you find is so much nicer about having? an internet radio station that we control that you you control and and actually you run more than one channel so uh can you tell me a little bit kind of what your concept is and, and why sure. you do what you do sure um i always seen a value in people's opinions i always seen a value in people's emotions and and a value for what they have to say or what they have to do for either their career or something out of their talent and at the same time i always I always thought there were, if there was any way that I could start something on my own radio show, my own radio station, I would harness that not only for me, but for them and for us other people. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, in fact, I think you and I, Rob, we talk about that all the time, but if it's not a win-win for either party, then I always say, then why even bother doing it? If your heart is not into it, if you're not really respect it, if you don't care about what you're doing, then obviously this is not for you. But if you care, you love, you want, and you you really respect each other's opinions and, and whatever it is. And you know, we don't do a lot of pol political shows either. I will just say that. Um, because I find that if you do political shows, you edge out both sides of the argument. And whether one argument is correct and the other one's incorrect, I don't agree with that. I agree with what the person thinks inside their brain. I under, I agree with what um, not what the, what the Supreme Court says, not what the government says, not what our local government says, not what our local governor says, not what local people say, but what's common sense. What makes common sense? Well, if you build the radio station based on common sense, ability, capability, love, and compassion, you have a radio station that is going to bring you great, great multitudes of genres of music, great, great times in talking to whether it's celebrities or other people. Um, and sometimes, you know, people that make the significant difference could be from any of them ideas or any categories. Um, it could be from a local merchant that just, you know, might have been going out of business and you, you know, help recreate his business so he can stay in business. And he's you're not looked at like a bad person. You looked at like uh, like a hero that came in. And I always like that aspect. That's the that's I guess that's the the Boy Scout in me. You know, I, I always try to appeal to other people that are looking for their chance to become a person in the spotlight where they were held down for so long. I'm looking for the underdogs. I'm looking for the handicapped people. I'm looking for the people that have so much to give, but have nowhere to give it to. Yeah. And a lot of these corporations and companies, unless you're well known, unless you got a big fan page, unless you got a big following or you have a lot of money coming in or sponsors won't even see you, hear you or talk to you. And, and that's, 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 that's one of the things I wanted to point out was with your station is you've done, um, you've made, you've made your platform very, uh, um, approachable for indie artists or brand new artists. And, uh, uh, which was something I've always 
not been able to master as well as you have. And uh, I really appreciate and I know a lot of new artists out there really appreciate you giving them opportunities to let their music be heard. And uh, so uh, what have you always tried to do for the new indie or the new artists out there? Well, I, I mean, it, it sounds simple, but basically just play that, you know, it's, it's not it's simple. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's simple in my respect, because again, when you own the radio station, like you do and I do, yep. it, it's, it is simple. You just put them in the playlist and you tell them when you're going to play them and you show them when you're going to play them. A lot of people will um, say, yeah, I'm being played on this radio station, but unless you listen to the radio all day long or 24 hours a day or seven days a week, how do you know you're being played? Yeah. If somebody just tells you you're being played and you believe it, great. But when I get emails from people saying, oh, my, th thank you for playing that music artist. Uh, nobody else plays them. Um, I'm glad you started playing them. Um, can I request them more often? Can I re request other songs? Can I request other artists? And, of course, my answer is always yes, 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 yes. Yeah. There's no no's. The no's are the no's – are, um, um, unfortunately, we don't play bad language. Unfortunately, we don't do this and we don't do that. But for the most part, if an artist is out there and wants to be heard, Hamilton Radio is probably the best place to hear because we're all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 Robin, we were talking a while ago. Um, I was in uh, in Brazil on three channels. I didn't even know I was in Brazil on three channels. Uh, <laughs> one, of my, one of my fan base in Brazil said, hey, you know, I listened to you on uh, blah, 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 sent me the link, and I checked it out. I'm like, oh, wow, this is cool. This is all, all three of my channels when I had the VIP channel. And I said, uh, this is really cool. And I was like, but then I got, um, and you know this happens when you get these emails from these other companies saying that you owe all this money because you've got thousands of people listening in other areas. Well, I thought the goal of radio was to have as many listeners anywhere you want at any time. Yeah. And what happens is because we're now independent internet radio and we're under guidelines for rules and royalties and all that other stuff, the guidelines say you can only have so many total listening hours. So they kind of undercut you the same time you're trying to build yourself. Yeah. And you and you, you and I have a lot of rant sessions about that. <laughs> and it, it's true. That's why I was able to build myself when radio was just starting out. And a lot of others are like, dude, I can only get like three people to listen to my station. I'm like, well, you either got to find out what the problem is. And they say, well, they say they keep turning us off. See, when you're geo-targeted or geo-located, targetly with uh, whatever company is, what's Live 365 or Loud City or or uh, the other stream licensing, which was a freaking complete joke from day one. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, we have our conversations with that, too. Uh, yep. I don't want to bad up anybody, but it was just a, a nightmare from day one with that. Royalty rights companies. And, of course, you can go the route where you just – uh, I'm diversing from what I'm saying here, but you can go the route where you just pay the royalty companies yourself, but then you still have to come up with that money. And, so and you got a paper uh, paperwork nightmare, right? And you got to send that to them every month, yep. or they'll yep, yeah. They're just and there's so many different things that FM radio doesn't have to deal with. Serious radio and other companies don't, but because we're internet, we have to, to, to make sure we dot our eyes, make sure we cross our T's. Yep. And make sure that everything is set up so they can't find us. And we 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 obey the guidelines, and yep. we you know, we do what we think and they think is correct because it's done by uh, Congress that appoints the stuff and uh, the uh, organizations that control the media because we're taking over the media. Rob, I told you that before. We are destroying the media <laughs> we are. and stay in the game we're going to continue to destroy them yeah and so for people who are probably not familiar with radio stations and the internet we uh, uh we stream our shows through licensing companies so we meet all the copyright guidelines so we can play music and so uh, uh it's important if, there, if an internet radio station is not identifying 
what their source of uh, protection is, then they're not being fair to us and they're not being fair to the artists. And so uh, I do know there's a lot of radio stations out there that just play away and they don't care about any licensing or anything like that. And yet people like Gene and myself, we make sure and do everything right and to the T and, and, uh, and, and keep a good name for internet radio. And so uh, if uh, you uh, are a listener, always make sure that the radio station you're listening to are running their programs through proper channels. And uh, that's, that helps us. Oh, it does. Because, you know, here's the other thing that I do, uh, Rob, it's the other side of the coin. Because what happens is a lot of people like will go to sound exchange and will say, you know, I, I'm a new artist. How do I register? Or you go to a sound exchange. Okay. What are the stations that are running royalties? So I know that I'm going to get paid for my songs. Yeah. And they'll contact me and they say, I just talked to sound exchange. They would recommend you were one of the radio stations. You've been with them a while. They appreciate you uh, paying royalty. So we get sent a lot of people. Yeah. So that's another way of looking at it, even though you're on the other side of it, you know? Agreed. So um, uh, if uh, we probably should, should start winding this down, but I want to make sure is what are the most important things that you want the world to know about Hamilton radio and what you guys do? Well, we're not going away anytime soon. You know that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me I, either. I, if I'm breathing, this is still going to run. Um, I know my daughter, my daughter is doing really wonderful with the station. I'm really happy. Her. She's getting a lot more sponsors. We've just added another um, radio show, a radio channel called Smoke and Bacon. They are an app on her show. Um, I actually have a couple communities on there now. Just, I'll just talk about this real quick and then I'll get into that. Um, this is not a plug for Smoke and Bacon. They're an app, but it's an adult app. And at the same time, um, people from Facebook, if you're getting tired of Facebook, smoking bacon probably is a better place for you. It, it's a place for family, friends, and other people. There's different communities on there. There are some that are a little bit more risque than others. But remember, Facebook doesn't allow you to do that. I'm more family-friendly, so I'm going to stay in the family-friendly communities more. Um, however, they're, they're, a great, uh, they're a great app and um, uh, now a new friend. They're a sponsor to the station. They're a sponsor with the app. I'm also running their show and their channel. I'll be putting another channel up very soon. So I want people to know that Hamilton Radio is always expanding, always growing, always ready, and always running for you. Um, we're always trying to do more for each other um, out there in the community. Like I said, I'm doing um, I'm doing live events for uh, motivational speaking in the summer. I've got two events coming up here in New Jersey. I'm really happy about that. That's going to set me on my other career, which is motivational speaking. Um, I, I've got a background in technology as far as computers, as far as uh, teaching computers. I, you know, I'm going to be doing stuff with that. I've got the uh, automotive background for 25 years. I've got the digital background. Um, so I, I'm not going away anywhere. And I, if anybody wants to be interested or wants to work with Rob and I, you know, Rob and I are, are not competitors. See, I, I don't look at Rob as a competitor. I look at Rob as a friend. I look at Rob as, you know, we can use each other and help each other, not just destroy each other, which is what <laughs> competitors do. It's yeah, I, I don't feel any, any of that between you and I at all. Never. 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 It's I've never been, been that way. And one of the things that you and I, I like to also have you touch on a little bit is we get approached a lot for people that want to do shows with us. And one of my pet peeves is one is if you do a show, you have to be consistent. If you do a show and it's an hour show, you make it an hour show um, unless your station allows you to bleed over. What are some of the things that you would tell people that like to do shows? And um, I would recommend shows that you think are going to be around a while. If somebody's just going to do a show and that only lasts three weeks, that we can't do that. <laughs> we want shows that are be there for a long time and people can get used to hearing you. What are some of the recommendations and things you tell people that are approach you about? I'd like to uh, syndicate a show with you on, on Hamilton radio. What do I do? Well, pretty much what you just said. I mean, you gotta be consistent. That's the key. Commitment is the commitment. other key. That's big. 
cons consistency, commitment. Um, and, you know, we're just like any other business. If you're a business out there, like, like a doctor's office or lawyer's office, you can't walk in the office without paying them. So you got to remember, we're a business just like you. Yeah, we're owned by ourselves, but we're owned for you. We're owned because you can't get to the low. We're here because not everybody understands or sees what you have, your talent, what your kid's talent is, what your talent is, what your wife's talent is. You know, we're, we're here because there's a need for us. We're here because there's a want for us. We're here because we align ourselves with people like Rob and Good Talk Radio. And we try to create other friends throughout that. We create other promotional friends throughout that. We'll be working with recreational concerts. Uh, Rob, this is going to be huge with us. Uh, re recreational concerts, and they do everything from Jimi Hendrix to Janis Joplin, and they have the talent, the young talent, that looks, sounds, dresses, and everything around them that looks like the time and the day that they were either uh, performing a certain song or a certain thing. And this is huge for us because they have, they have people in Vegas. They have people in California. They have people in New Jersey. They have people in New York. They have people all over the world that are coming to them and saying, you know, I can do Jim Croce. I can do this. I can do that. And this is huge to us in the music industry because you know that regular radio don't care about recreation concerts. No. They only care about the profit and money they make. Well, working together, just an idea, an example, uh, we can do huge things together. Um, I can tie them to J.D. Sarantokas in, um, in uh, Vegas that does all the Vegas bookings for Chris Angel. I can tie them to my friend John Taffer. For Bar Rescue, John's expanding out. I could tie him into some of the sharks from Shark Tank. I could tie them into some of the promotional people. I mean, there's so many things that we can do together, people. And if you just take the time to realize if this is your dream, then you need to, you need to contact I at admin and HamiltonRadio.net or Rob. If you're closer to Rob, use Rob. And here's the thing. Even if you're a podcast, it doesn't matter, Rob, because we can do podcasts all over the world. We yep. can rerun podcasts all over the world. We can do that and put them on our network for a nominal fee. I'm not saying we're going to do it for free, but we can work out some kind of agreement where they're going to benefit so much more than just being on a regular podcast wherever they are, like Blog Talk. Yeah. One of, the those, things, one of the things we try to tell people is we uh, we invested very heavily into – social marketing so yep. and in fact i know you use a lot of our social marketing which is created for that purpose and yep. it took years to build um we have giant groups giant radio groups giant podcast yep. uh, cats groups we branch off into every subject whether it's cooking prepping etc we have social media for all that and we tie all of our stuff and you you do too um our shows our radio stations and and our different uh, podcasts that come in, and we enhance those shows by using our social media platforms, which you can't see them all, but uh, we uh, we have one just in cooking. It has fifty five thousand people in it, and so right. if I had when I eat cooking shows or something like a subject like that, and I shoot that show over to that group because I control it, I can do anything I want, <laughs> and uh, so when we get our syndicated shows on the radio station with us, they go not only get listened to, but they get advertised big time through our platforms, just like you do. Right. Right. So, uh, That's yeah. Exactly. yeah. So no, uh, you're, and remember you are always allowed to come to Hamilton radio, it'd be our, our uh, page too, yep. and put any shows uh, of, of yours on there too, because it gets seen by a lot of people too. Yep. So, uh, well, I'm trying to expand that as well. So, you know, each expansion is always good for less sleep. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's life. <laughs> yep. So I don't know, you know, whatever happens, happens. But 
um, you know, we, we try to keep ourselves healthy. I, I had a lady here yesterday. She, she uh, was in on another show and she, she uh, inquired to me. She says, you know, I really want to do a radio show with you. I'm a faith healer. I'm a, I'm a uh, Reiki master. I'm this, I'm that. I'm like, well, just bring it. You, you, you just told me what you are. Bring it, bring yeah. it to the people, <laughs> heal the people, help them deal with their issues. And she's like, if I can promote, I said, you can promote anything you want. You can see the thing with a radio show is you're not limited to anything. Yeah. Only you what, to I am looking for a show eventually, and I have haven't had one approach me yet. I would like to have a good pet show. A me good, too. Um, I just haven't. I um, I had one I thought I was going to get, and then he, he says, "Well, I can get my podcast out to iHeartRadio. Why would I want to be on yours?" And I'm going, "Are you kidding me? Right?" <laughs> And it's like, if you got a, if you got a pet sh uh, show or going to have a pet show, um, contact, I know, well, it sounds like contact both of us. Um, if you got a show that you can do on a regular basis, it is informative and you know, it's enjoyable and you enjoy doing it. Uh, we want to talk to you and, uh, uh, I got stuff on every subject, but you and I both love pets and animals. I haven't really gotten a good pet show and I really like to get one. Right. And we can get pets coming into the studio here, too. So yeah. we've had Corey from the Robbinsville police here and uh, he, you know, he's a he's a drug dog and he was a, he was a good dog, almost knocked the monitor down. But he's still a good dog, you know, and um, <laughs> that, uh, would have, that would have been fun. That would have been expensive for, uh, uh, situation. But um, anyway, uh, you know. We're here for you guys, yeah. you know, and we're both here. And, and, you know, Rob, as like I said once before, if there's a choice between you and I, I, you know, I don't care if they take you. It's I, I look at it this way. Either way, either way, people are going to end up with somebody that cares about what they broadcast about and uh, whatever works, you know, yeah. whatever works. Well, many, remember. many of our shows that we syndicate are not just with us. Um, and and so uh, especially because uh, you know, we're West Coast and we get East Coast. Many of my shows will be on West Coast, uh, East Coast programs and networks, and it doesn't bother us a bit. Uh, in fact, we try to stagger our shows to different times. So if you've got a great show and we can play it on the West Coast at a good time at dinner time, and it can play played at the um, East Coast at dinner time, you're going to catch so many more listeners. And so uh, that's why working together as networks and working together as a as having a show and, and, and uh, being respective to each network, uh, we'll bend over ba backwards for you. And I know, I know Gene well, oh my gosh. So um, I do need to wrap this up so we don't put people to sleep. But, uh, let me tell you. It was a pleasure, buddy. Oh, pleasure. you bet. Uh, Gene is a great guy. So at the uh, when you get a chance, you stop the video now if you have to. Go down to the description. First of all, go to his Facebook page <laughs> and and like his page. Second, make sure you bookmark HamiltonRadio.net, and you have how many channels now? Well, we got we got two, but we're gonna have the third one. Smoking Bacon is gonna be on our new app, and it's gonna be on the website very soon. Yeah. Um, and you know, yeah, I'm really happy to have that. And I think we're going to have a, uh, another channel very soon. So yeah. probably. So what's, what's the difference between the two main channels? Well, the, the main channel is basically, uh, you know, it's just uh, what I program at, from the request and people that like stuff. But the second channel is a studio channel. The third channel is pertaining to what that person wants, which is basically Southern rock country and um, probably a little uh, classic rock. Gotcha. Cool. So my, my channel is a little bit everything. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> well, we're more classic rock for our music, but even though we're called Good Talk Radio, we merged our two radio stations together. We used to have good music radio, too. So we're like, this is too much work. Let's put it together. <laughs> and so everything's under Good Talk Radio. But, yeah, so uh, uh, I know you have more diversified music than we do. We're more classic About rock. The whole key the whole key to radio is give everybody something what they want. That's why serious radio it takes off so big because my one friend that's in serious, he says, he says, why don't you just have somebody else create the radio station or you create the radio station for them, have them uh, change and do whatever they want. And then you get uh, the link to it and you get the copy of it and he pays you to do it. I'm like, that's a no brainer. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> oh, I, I see. 
tell me where I sign up. He's like, just just talk to them about it, see if they want to do it. And then and I just talk smoke baby. And he's like, oh, it sounds like a great idea. He said, I can put my own promotion on there. I can put my own. I said, yeah. And you can do yeah. community promotions. You can run. You can run your own shows from there. You can do a live a show from there. You can do anything. You can just whatever you want to do. I yeah. mean, you have control of it. Pretty cool stuff. It's just and and you just like you, we're always looking at what's new out there, what's good and what's not so good. And uh so yeah, it's just it's never ending. Just there's always something new out there, so it's really cool. And especially with the economy, the way things are going, we're always looking to make a couple extra bucks here and there. And if we can make people happy at the same time, they're gonna make extra bucks, we're gonna make extra bucks. Win win. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, hey, Gene, thank you so much for your time. I know you got a busy schedule. You're in your studio right now, right? I am. I'm getting ready to do a show okay. at 6 o'clock. Um, and I'm actually finishing up Smoking Bacon's channel. Cool. And that's on Live 365, if anybody wants to check it out. Um, and, of course, you know, we did the voiceovers for that. We do voiceovers, promotions. We do uh, documentaries. We do uh, music videos. We do... Um, all kinds of other things, because I'm also involved with Iron Horse Films. That's who uh, really, we both own this radio station and uh, the studios. Cool. So we've got a lot of stuff coming out with that, too. So we're going to be uh, doing a lot more on that side of the, the coin. Well, you uh, you know how to look me up if you ever need some more support. We're, we're always will, here for you. We'll be in contact with you know, as soon as I get this recreation contact thing going, because this is going to be huge. It's going of course, be... the only thing I'm, I'm really jealous of you of, uh oh, your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna scare my viewers for a minute, but I don't know how you've done it, but you've kept your hair all those years. <laughs> I don't know how I've done it either, because well, I, I've come, I have good DNA for hair. Apparently, <laughs> my, my one of my uncles is, I think he's in his 80s. He's still got a full head of hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, t I am so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the reason why I'm gray is my girls, my daughters and my wife, because oh, they yeah. worry about everything. That's a given. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Gene, once again, thank you so much for interviewing with us. I, I hope you enjoyed doing an uh, interview with us. And uh, keep the love up. And, and I hope we set people, please go visit this man. He's worth your time, and you'll enjoy being a, a family member with him. Um, just a good-hearted person. And they're kind of few and far between. And so, guys, hook up with this guy. So, Gene, thank you so much. My pleasure, my friend. My All right, pleasure. Well, thank you for watching Ranger Rob Has Your Back show. Interested in being on our show? Just go to our website at rangerrob.com. Go to our contact page and tell us all about you. We look forward to meeting you. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.